And the first official topic today comes to us from Drew Larson, who writes, Hey, John, a big fan of your show. Thank you so much. Mile 22 was supposed to be a franchise starter with the Studio STX already announcing a sequel back in June. With the atrocious reviews and underperformance of the box office, will the studio now succumb to those results and cancel the sequel? Yes, so what Drew's talking about here is very quietly, again, back in June, and might have even been a little bit before that, they announced that they had brought on a screenwriter to start to developing the screenplay for Mile 22 Part 2. So maybe it would be Mile 222. Now there's something I go 222 miles. Anyway, so they brought on, they were starting to develop the sequel. However, the movie sucks. The first, <laughs> Mile 22 sucks. All film subjective, maybe you liked it, and that's great if you did. Um, but from my point of view, and from the point of view of a bunch of other people, the movie was terrible. On top of that, it did not blow the doors off the bank. Made $13 million on its opening weekend on a budget of 50. You'd like to, at the very minimum, make half of your budget on your opening weekend. Because, you know, your opening weekend's your biggest weekend. It all goes downhill from there. Made 13 million bucks, completely horribly received by audiences and critics. What does that do to this supposed tra to this supposed sequel? Oh, it's dead. I have no doubt it's dead. Now, here's the thing. You can flop at the box office. Let's say Mile 22 made 13 million at the box office like it did. But let's say the audiences loved it and the critics loved it too. You could then, if you're one of the executives at STX, you could go to your bosses and make an argument that, hey, if we make another one, it'll make more money because the audiences love it, the critics love it, we have a good chance to make more money a second time around if we make another one. And, hey, maybe we should because we need to make up for the losses on the first one. You could make an argument there. If the situation was reversed and everybody hated the movie, which they do, but the movie made big money, you can again make an argument. Hey, yeah, we got bad critic reviews and people didn't like it, but we made a lot of money and we'll do a better job making it the second time around, so we should make a sequel. If either one of those circumstances are there, you could justifiably make a case for making a sequel to Mile 22. But the reality is neither of those circumstances are our reality right here, right? The audiences hate it, the critics hated it, and it flopped at the box office. There are just simply no justification for taking another swing at it. There's just, there's just no justification for it. You just can't justify it. Now, this goes to prove my, like a theory that I've always had. A lot of times I think when studios announce these sequels that we're working on a sequel already, I think sometimes in the case of Mile 22 especially, that's just a PR move on behalf of the studio to say, hey, look, audience, we love this movie. We know you're going to love it, so we're already moving forward with a sequel. It's really a PR move. I think they full well knew that they're... I think they knew they had a movie that wasn't very good on their hands. And they were just kind of hoping they could make a big pop at the box office. But they knew it wasn't that great, so they start announcing, oh, guys, we're already making a sequel. Wow, they this movie must be really good if they're already making a sequel. Because they're showing confidence in it, right? I mean, that's reasonable to assume. But yeah, I, I got a feeling the execs at STX knew this movie sucked. I mean, they they had to know. So I guess there was never much credence to that. But yes, I would I would say, and again, I have no insider information. I'm just speculating here. But I would say that any sequel for Mile 22 is probably gone. That's just my guess. But who knows? Stranger things have happened. All right, let's move on to topic number two.